Hey, good morning, friends. It's Tara from the Gallery of Shea, and I'm here at my first day in Princesa de la Luna. Uh, I am in a Costa Rican uh, eco lodge here uh, in Arenal, and I just wanted to show you this gorgeous view of the rainforest. It's really, literally raining like right now, and I'm standing in it. It's so muggy and and wonderful. Can you see that? Anyway, there's a volcano. I'll be able to show that to you later when the clouds clear. But just take a look at all these orchids and bromeliads and epiphytes growing right on the tree trunks. Everything is so moist and nutrient rich. Um, everything is just so fertile and willing to grow in this land that it, it just stuff clings and climbs on everything. I'm sure I'll have some great photos for you later. Uh, so first thing I'm recognizing is for a tropical garden to work, we're going to need a lot of moisture. Um, at least in some areas to give you sort of that rich, moist, humidy feel. Um, so that's, that's, looks like that's lesson number one I'm learning is a tropical, a true tropical garden has a ton of moisture. Um, but I bet you there's probably some plants that we could use like some yuccas and some other large textured, big leafed plants that we could use that like the, the drought that we could mimic, you know, a tropical uh, theme in your climate. But, um, Rain would be a huge component. All right, comment below if you've ever been to the rainforest.